We we'll now go to cross down to Nigeria's capital, Abuja, where President Mohamed Buhari will inaugurate the Presidential Campaign Council of the Bola Tinubu Kashim Shetima presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress. By the hips, we have no choice but to serve together. The Senate President, the single Senator Ahmed Lawan. The House of Representatives Speaker, Right Honorable Femi Bajabia Miller. I say that name again, Bajabia Miller. Bajami. Your Excellency, the Director General of our campaign and the Governor of Plato State, Simon Bakul along. Thank you for everything since we started together. To my darling wife, Senator Dr. Oluremi Tinubu, I am grateful and I thank God for you. Bless that you are the selling inspiration of a man raised by a market woman leader. To you are a woman, it does surprise me that you move one step ahead of us by inaugurating your program and initiating it and the manner you did. Thank you. We know you are the consistent and most constant voters that we have. We will not let you down. The party leaders, all distinguished men and women of our great party here today. I didn't know that Lagos can bring its traffic jam to the gate of the villa. But eventually, we got all we want. We got all, all of We stand at the threshold of destiny as a unique nation, home to 200 million industrious people, Re recognized globally as an economic powerhouse and natural leader among the African nations. We see it in Nigeria, a greater Nigeria, regarded by both its people and its international partners as a strong, stable, and prosperous federation driven by and good governance. I thank President Buhari for all that he has done. I thank also the APC leadership, especially our current chairman, for strengthening the party organization as we well. 
as we head into the next general elections. Earlier this week, the president had a retreat with his ministers and senior members of his government. The, the committed patriot that he is, President Buhari, urged those in attendance to continue to work hard until the final moment in office. That is patriotism. That we are unfailing the Tinubu Shetima action plan for a better Nigeria today. This plan is not only a roadmap to a prosperous future, it serves as a notice to the Nigerian people that if elected, Senator, she Senator Shetima and I shall work tirelessly to reach that promised future from the moment of the first day that we enter office. It is my honor at this defined moment in our nation's history to introduce my roadmap to the future we all demand. The doors to the security, prosperity, and greatness are open to us. We must step through the portals, guided by a touch bearer with the experience and mental to shoulder the tax ahead. Nothing short of this will survive. We suffice. I seek to become the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria because I know the way. My experience and the past performance assured that it will be through collective effort and national endeavor that we join hands, cross divides, and achieve our vision. I ask you to finish such a deeper and me on this journey. We have transferred every part of our nation, listening to the concerns and the yearnings of Nigerians for a more prosperous and equitable society, better able to acknowledge and nurture the dream of our people. We share the people's desire for a peaceful Nigeria where we all coexist in fairness, prosperity, and with balanced representation and positions of authority. After visiting and meeting our compatriots, young and old, poor and rich, educated and all educated, Christian and Muslim. We recognize that no Nigerian wants empty answers to add questions at this hour. The country does not need fancy promises or foreign experiments. Nigerians seek sustained progress and reform through stable governance and profound leadership. 
We need through an innovative solution that addresses the special 36 states and our two, over 200 million people. Our party, the All Progressive Congress, APC, was founded on the premise that every Nigeria, Nigerian in or outside our beloved country has a right to the benefit that only a progressive good governance can deliver. When I was governor of Lagos State, policies that entrenched good governance laid down a blueprint which continue to guide the state leadership today and change the face of the state, turning Lagos into the fifth largest economy in Africa. Our efforts change the state into a safe place for the residents and an engine of prosperity for all who are willing to walk in pursuit of their dreams. What my team and I achieved in Lagos, together we all can achieve it for the Nigerian throughout this great nation. Based on our unshakable faith in our people, and standing on the foundation well established by the administration of President Mohamed Buhari, we shall a, build a nation where sufficient jobs with decent wages and an enabling environment for small business owners create a better life for all and a future of promise for our youth. Revive our to, to revive our economy and our manufacturing sector and place Nigeria back on the path of industrialization and job creation. We shall manufacture, produce and market increased qualities of the essential goods and services we require. And Nigeria shall be known as a nation of producers, creators, not just a consumer. We will export more and import less in order to earn more foreign exchange and strengthen the Naira. We will deliver food security and affordability by continuing to prioritize agriculture and assist farmers and other players in the agricultural value chain through the enlightened policies that promote productivity and guarantee robust income. We will modernize and expand public infrastructure to stimulate economic growth at an optimal rate. Generate, transmit, and distribute sufficient affordable electricity to give our people the necessary power to drive their 
businesses and brighten their homes. Bearing in mind, there's no successful industrialization. It's feasible without constant electricity at the right price. Our national economy will grow, we succeed, we be respected. We will embolden and support young people and women to participate more in politics and governance. And as in and as a sector, such as digital economy, entertainment, tourism, sport, to build our today for the Nigerian of tomorrow. We will train and give economic opportunities to people with disability, the poor, and the vulnerable. We see again a year where no parent is compelled to send a child to bed, to bed hungry, worried whether tomorrow shall bring food. We assure you there will be plenty of food to feed your children. We will make affordable health care, education, and housing accessible for all. And most importantly, we will lead and deliver and assertive security measures to enable a strong yet adaptive national security architecture that will obliterate terror, kidnapping, banditry, and violent crimes from the face of our nation. Every inch of a tangible boundary of this country will be safe and protected from banditry. Governing Nigeria is a sacred trust which I do not take lightly. Such responsibility requires the best brains and the most skilled hands from across our nation. Most especially and most importantly, it requires the right leader. And we have had one who is outgoing and put us here together to discuss this. Muhammad Buhari has led the way at a critical time. When others shall be responsible. And united our country. He stood tall. All right, that's uh, live in Abuja, the presidential candidate, the flag bearer for the All Progressive Congress, uh, Ashiwaju Bola Metinibul, uh, talking about his plans, uh, along with his vice presidential candidate, uh, Shetima, about what he plans to do for the nation, create jobs, uh, a focus on agriculture. He also interestingly said that power, that's electricity, needs to be provided at an appropriate price. Perhaps that means uh, free market uh, costing for uh, power. Uh, okay, we have him back. Let's go back to Abuja and keep listening. We will do the thinking and doing. Show the way that we are more brilliant. We are more concerned. We are Nigerians that has performed wonders. The tax required 
from leadership and certainty of direction to deliver strong, accountable governance such that progress and the hope is to get become our ever-present reality. I call on you to join hand with my running mate and I to renew each other's hope in and for our people through the initiative set forth in our action plan. We shall provide equality opportunity, social justice, prosperity, and security for all. I encourage you to be bold We will be bold to back on the endeavor endeavor that will make us more competitive. We are sure that we can make realizable the cross-Saharan pipeline to bring our gas to Europe and compete with Russia, compete better generate the necessary revenue. I stand before you proudly noting that those who are afraid of the budget, they were stuck of borrowing and uh, it's borrowing. If borrowing is a the entire America should be in jail. If borrowing is a crime, stop using messages, banks, and lectures. General Barry, our dear president, we are with you. We are sure you are leading the way and charting the course. And we are saying today, the renewed hope of this country will be for real. You will look back and be able to smile and be proud of what you build and what you left behind. It is a pledge that this promise that we put here on paper before you all. As you are the summer at the end, I don't miss the summer at the end. that you can depend on. Be happy. Be determined. Be sure that Nigeria oh, is back, renewed, far and solid. Thank you very much.
our capacity build the intellectual inquisitiveness that we can resuscitate the hope of Nigeria Nigerian I say never lost hope we like to complain we accept their complaints. We turn those complaints to great challenges and an inspiration that will bring Nigeria of their dream to bear upon the children yet unborn. To you, the governors, who have been working day and night with me, I say thank you. You will not diminish the number. Forget the threat. You will increase in numbers. I know how many are you. You will increase as Nigerians and as leaders. And we will turn this nation into El Dorado, a place of joy for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, yes. presidential candidates yes. of the World Progressives. Congress.